Wait. Are you finished down here, mate? Yeah. Give me a break. I've been out here all morning. Give me a coffee, will you? Just sit down. So what are you hanging about here for? Oh, I get it. You're waiting to get a glimpse of your uh, lady love, right? I haven't got a lady love ever. I bet you thought you were right in there with Mel, didn't you? No, I didn't. I knew what the score was. Ellie, it's me. I was there, remember? Your stupid little face. It was a picture. So, what's with the leaflets? Oh, it's all good for business, isn't it? And how much are they going to cost me? Not a lot. Well, it better pay off. <laughs> well, if it doesn't, I'll just have to let you beat me again at snooker, won't I? Yeah, well, I don't think your memory's too good, cos I've thrashed you fair and square. That's what I wanted you to think. He wanted the bar fill, so he let you win. Played you for a mug. You hustled me. Anyone might have settled this, Jim, so it's a rematch. Fifty quid says you're a born loser. Ton says you're a born sucker. Oh, Phil, you can do him. Oh, I wanna. Tonight, seven o'clock. Best of nine frames. Phil, uh, don't forget your wallet. <laughs> I've had a little flutter coming on here. See anything you like? No. Funny? Me neither. Right, Mel. Dylan, I think you'd be talking to me off the other night. No, I made a rubber, me, and I always bounce back. Oh, that's good to hear. So, no need to worry, you're pretty little. Bit. <sighs> Thanks, Billy. I appreciate it. I'll tell you what, I'll see if I can wangle a bit of time after lunch and we'll go to the West End and get you a new dress. Oh, wow, it's so exciting. I've never done anything like this before. Thanks. It's all right, I'll see you later. Hi, Bob. Oh, hi. I've got that naughty film you're on, don't I? No, I'm not interested anymore. Huh? No. I'm off with it at the moment. That's well, all the more reason to hire it, my son. She's obviously feeling very guilty about something. What are you talking about? You should have heard her on the blower this morning, this bloke. I tell you, if that would have been my missus, I would have grabbed hold of that mobile and stamped all over it. Ooh, what bloke? Take a tip from me. Never trust a woman. They only let you down. Like Melanie, for instance. What do you know about her, eh? I meant to keep it quiet, but me and Mel were a little bit more than bosom buddies, you know what I mean? You're dreaming, Billy. No, 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 straight up, I tell you. We had this little arrangement, you know. Very us, us, but of course he wanted a little bit more, didn't he? It's like getting a bit clingy, you know. Wanted us to have a proper relationship. So what did you say about that? <laughs> I said to her that I thought we was fine as we were, you know. Because she wasn't having none of it. What did you do? Well, I did still, of course. Is it true you're not seeing Billy anymore? Come again? You know, you and Billy said he dumped you. I think you'd better tell me exactly what he's been saying. Chance to back out. Same goes for you. Want me to look after that, sir? Doc, I'll bet the only honest person in here. That's dirty, Bunny. I ain't touching it. Well, I'll take it. Oh, well. You keep your hands to yourself. Dirty old man. Heads this house. Heads. I had this really weird dream last night. This beautiful girl said that she wanted to spend the rest of her life with me. Oh, yeah. And what was her name? I'll go around and sort her out. Claudia Schiffer. Have you got your money on me, boys? I'm starting tomorrow. Starting what? The keep fit. I'll show Natalie. I'm going to reveal the true Barry Evans. By the time I'm finished, I'll be on the cover of those men's mags. Yeah, not the ones you buy over the counter. Oi! Shh! Sorry. Rack them up, Billy. Four frames each. This one decides it, then. Biting your nails yet, then? Well, I can hear your knees knocking. 
Do you have to do that? Trying to play a game of snooker here? Oh, I will. Either leave them alone or keep your eyes shut. Oh. What's the matter? We never get any privacy, do we? No. What well, a gift for an evening of our own, eh? What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? I say, your bum's bigger than I remember. I can always have a phone out. Are you warm enough? Oh, yes. Because I swear we're sitting in a drop. What's your name? It's dark, dear. Huh? Perhaps you'd better get you home. I'm not going to miss this last frame. Come, Phil. Do you mean? <laughs> twice before making bets. Oi! I want to know what you've been saying about me. You having trouble concentrating? <laughs> well, judging by the look on your face, I think you already know. You've got five seconds to tell me why. I thought I needed to teach you a little lesson. You what? Well, you needed to know that you can't go around treating people the way you're treating me. Billy, you are truly sad. <laughs> yeah, you're the sad one, then. See, I really liked you. Cared about you. And what did you do? You made me look like a right mug. I'm going to make you look much worse. You carry on telling stories about me. <laughs> See, the thing is, Mel, what you don't get is that people believe those stories. So what does that say about you, eh? Let me win the job. I don't think so. Not your night, is it? That's enough.